Hello and welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up SQL Server Management Studio. There are three steps to follow actually to install SQL Server Management Studio and to set up and to use it. But in case if you encounter any problem in creating instances, then we will follow step three. So let's go through all these four steps uh, in order. The first step is to go to Google and just search SQL Server Management Studio and download the file and install this file. So for that, if you can just copy the name or just type it, go to any browser and type SQL Server Management Studio. And you will see the Microsoft website here. Click on that and when you scroll down, you will see this file to download. This is release number 19.1, the latest available released on May 24, 2023. So please download this file. I have already downloaded this to my laptop because it's a bit heavy file, so I just did it. So this is the file. If you can please double click on, uh, asking permission. Right, this is the installation part of the SQL Server Management Studio. So this is where it asks for the location where to install C drive program files. But if you want, you can change to any other um, available folder. Just click on install uh, if you have enough space on your C drive. It may take a few minutes depending on your laptop uh, specs. So it may take five to 10 minutes. Right, while it's installing this uh, file, I'm going to pause for a couple of minutes. It took a few minutes and the setup is complete. It says all specified components have been installed successfully. So I'm going to close this now. Now this step is done. Now the next step is go to CMD to create some local instances um, to, to run and execute this uh, SQL engine. So for that, I will just type CMD or just go to command prompt, right click, run as administrator. Uh, click yes if window asks you permission. Right, this worked now. It's um, It did not give me that error that I was expecting here. This one, that SQL Server, sorry, SQL local DB is not recognized as internal or external command. Operable program or batch file. Um, in my training session, some of my learners had this problem. Uh, this installation was not successfully done, or so for some, some reason it could not find this uh, instance, uh, it could not recognize the SQL local DB. So, if that is the case, uh, I don't have that, but if that is the case, then you need to install this file, SQL Server Express Local DB, uh, from the Microsoft website. So, in that case, if in case you have this problem, then go to as Google, type that, and then go to Google and type that SQL Server Express Local DB. Okay, when you go to this website, as you can see at the top, search here from Microsoft website, then please download the latest one, the one according to your SQL Server Management Studio. So if you click on this, it will install this file, which is already here in my uh, this folder, this one, SQL Server Express. So please double click on that file. And then when you see this, this option, choose the third option, download media. And when you see these three options, uh, please choose the local DB option. And then click on download. There are a couple of other ways to do this as well, to install SQL, SQL uh, Express first, and then choose the custom option, and the custom option then choose SQL Server Management Studio. So there are a couple of ways to work around this. So I installed that uh, local DB option. So now I'm going to click on this open folder, and I can see this option here. So I have to double click on this, next, uh, just because I already have it, so it shows me repair. 
Um, but if you did not install this before, you would not see this option. So just click on Next and then Install. It will help you to create those local instances in the command prompt. So I click Finish. Right, let me close all these windows now. I don't need this now, so I can close it, yeah. Right, so I'm going back to the local DB. In case if you already opened that and you saw that error, um, that error could possibly be, without installation, you can see this error message. Without SQL Server Express installation, you may see this error message. So if you see this error message, then follow this tip, please. Otherwise, just follow these uh, uh, these steps to create a local DB instance. So I'm going to go to my command prompt now. So I go to, again, CMD, right click, and run as administrator. So if I go to this uh, SQL local DB, and I uh, just want to type info here. So it shows me MS SQL local DB is available, installed here now. Before it, it, may, it was not detecting it. So to create the local DB instance, just write here, create. Um, I have type here, SQL local DB. If you want to know more about these commands, just type SQL local DB. And like it will show you all the commands. Uh, how to delete an instance, how to create an instance here, how to delete, how to start. So all these commands are here, uh, given here. If you want to see which version is this, for example, let's say SQL, leak, uh, SQL local DB, and let's say, just type V. Look, it shows this is the Microsoft SQL Server 2022, 16.0100, whatever the number is. Now to create the now a new instance, I will just type SQL local DB, create, and what instance, whatever you want to name it. Let's say I want to name it just local DB1. Click enter. Right, so it said local DB instance, local DB1 created with version 16.01, whatever that number is. So the local DB instance is created here now. So if I go back to my SQL Server Management Studio, the instance that I created um, a while ago, they should be able to work now. So let's say I'm going to type here local DB slash uh, what was the name? The name was local db1. Okay. So that installation is done. Okay. And whenever I log in, it will show me that username and password. These are the default folders for a database security and all these. You're going to go through these uh, in the next video. Like in these are the system database file, but you're going to create we can create as many databases as you want here, uh, but that's something we will come back to this later in another video. Let me show you again now. So if you go back to SQL Server Management Studio, it should be able to show you that, uh, oh, look at this, it's picked up now automatically. So in this curly brace, sorry, not curly brace, parenthesis, you have to type local db slash then your instance name, whatever your instance is, like my database or XYZ database or my instance, whatever you want to name it. So I name it local db1, and when I and, and and the authentication is window authentication. So I did not set up any username and password here, uh, but I, I want if I want I can, but that's not necessary at this stage. The whole idea here was um, how to create SQL Server database and how to create instant local DB instances. I hope you like this video and you learned something from this, um, how to set up your own SQL Server Management Studio. Thank you for watching.